for the record, uh, first of all, Shalom, but for the record, part five. Um, the continuation of the uh, annulment agreement and my right to basically, according to the definition that I found in Bouvier's Law Dictionary, Volume 1, um, this uh, further solidifies my right to uh, claim that this uh, de facto uh, marriage is actually null and void and as far as this inter disinterpretation of the law or this, uh, yeah, their interpretation of in the law called abandonment, I'll read. Abandonment. She abandoned. She ba abandoned the marriage on her own accord, which makes me legally free and lawfully free. Abandonment. Malicious. The act of a husband or a wife, and this, you know, who leaves his or her concert willfully and with an intention of causing perpetual separation. And she tried to come back again, but I didn't let her in because she already left. You know, so we already agreed that she was leaving because she already uh, uh, got a place to go live before she even told me. So we agreed upon her departure that we are no longer even, that the marriage is over. But in the way, you know, the de facto works, it tries to come back. But I cut that off. I didn't let her in. Just like the scriptures say, once you put her out of your house, that's it. She left, so she gone. Uh, Perpetual separation. Such an aband abandonment, when it has continued the length of, a, of time required by the local status, is sufficient cause for a divorce. Vibe 1, off dot R, 47, divorce. So as far as I'm concerned, we're divorced. And, on, and, and it's a no, because basically we're never uh, married anyway. That was a um, de facto uh, attempt to enslave me, and that's illegal too, according to what I just read earlier. So I'm free. Now, scriptures I, heard, I read earlier, well, Yah says, you know, I love those who love me, and I'll treat you how you treat me. So, my he says it's not good for a man to be alone. So my intent is to go find another. Uh, hopefully a de jour honorable woman that we can love and share and the rest of our lives with. That's my intent in good faith. But if another agent comes, um, I'm gonna love them that love me. I'm gonna follow the example. So, also, I'm, I'm not gonna go by way of the de facto. I'm just going to have an agreement between me and her in writing what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. And we'll go ahead and sign it off, probably get it notarized, go before y'all first. And if she turns out to be a de facto, I mean, yeah, de facto agent again, um, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to treat her like she treat me. Because I don't have to um, bow to the enemy. But I'm going to love her if she loves me in righteousness. I'm not going to have a, a fellowship with, with darkness. So that's my intent in good faith. So if, she, if she's there just for uh, sexual relations, that's what it's going to be. Somebody might say, that's cruel. No, it's not. I don't have to love the enemy. But hopefully I, uh, somebody comes in righteousness and then we can be live, live together in righteousness. Also, this is my be sure license. Well, not license, but identification. Retract that statement. This is my de jure ID. ID.
I've also uh, rescind my, the, well not my, their, I rescinded their uh, license and their uh, license plates back to them. And I travel. Uh, by right um, driving is for people who's employed to drive I'm not employed therefore I don't have to have a license the travel act 1961 federal statute statute that prohibits conduct intended to promote direct or manage illegal business activities in interstate commerce this statute was enacted to create federal jurisdiction over many criminal uh, over many criminal activities traditionally handled by state and local government to help those jurisdictions cope with increasing complex interstate criminal activity. Travel place, 1894, a place where the public has in some manner required the right to travel. Traveler, noun, 14th century, someone who passes from place to place for any reason. Public right of way, 18th century, three. The right to take presidents in traffic. The strip of land subject to a non owner's right to pass through. Also written right of way. Right of way, 1802. The right of passage held by the public in general to travel on roads, freeways, and other thoroughfares. Right to travel, 1838. A person's constitutional right guaranteed by the privilege, privileges and immunities clause to travel freely between states. Driver. One employed in conducting a couch, I mean a coach, excuse me, retract the statement. One who employed in conducting a coach, carriage, wagon, or other vehicle with horses, mules, or other animals. Um, frequent accidents occur in consequence of the neglect or want of skill of drivers of public stage coaches for which employers are responsible. Note, there is no law that man mandates a requirement to have a driver's license other than for the purpose of commerce and taxes. I return the state's driver's license and license plates. I shall prove of my right to travel on all lands, streets, highways, etc. at my leisure without the requirements of a driver's license. I travel, I do not drive for a living or employment purposes. See legal definitions for the purpose of agents of the state's de facto government called the United States Company bankrupt since 1933. See Clearfield Doctrine and bankrupt, Bankruptcy of the United States Company in 1933. Okay, so it's on the record. I'm, I'm a free man. Well, I, I was already a free man, but uh, that marriage certificate is null and void. Now, so this cuts out any uh, controversy or hearsay or rumors if you see me with another woman, um, and I will not sleep with another woman until we have an agreement, meaning I will not have sexual intercourse with another woman unless we have an agreement that we're going to be together before Yah in righteousness and in honor. But if she show herself to be unhonorable and I find uh, uncleanness in her, I will also give her a bill of divorcement and uh, send her on her way as well because I do not have to have uh, fellowship with unrighteousness especially those who are trying to do me harm so it is, it is recorded I'm not going off of religion I'm going off of the word and the law that as I just read to you so shalom and amen and I hope uh, this will help you out as well y'all bless and uh, I, I love you as my fellow Americans and uh, let's work together and pray for one another and let's be in honor let's be honorable in righteousness. Shalom.